up with the paint job and the cutting buff still got compound on the windshield seen a few more spots I had went back over but the first step so putting Ruby back together I might have to go to the yard and find a bumper shock because this bumper shock here it was pushed in if you can remember when I first got Ruby this side of the bumper it was pushed in so this bumper shock is gone. So once I do that, I'll come back and I'll probably put the bumpers on first. Then probably the side molding. I'm trying to get everything together. Well, not the side molding, but the rocker panel. It's the side molding here. The old. I got some new here. weather stripping for the doors I'm still waiting on the food parts to come in but I'm gonna start putting everything that I have back on got one door handle still waiting on three more got the headlight bellows side marker quarter top trim I still gotta put that on upper lights got some pin stripes Then the chrome. That's the windshield chrome now. Headlights. Some more little eyes and ends here. I got new emblems coming too. Front and back. Also got some trim outside here. Gotta clean it up got paint on these here. I'm going to try to get some something to get this paint off. Also here. But let me run to the yard. Then I'll cut you back on once I get back. I might have junk y'all, hunting. First step on putting Miss Ruby back together. I got to get a bumper shock observer. Because the bumper was pushed in. So I'm going to have to get one of them. I'm right here trying to find one. But I see this say Impala. It says, I don't know if it's a clone or not. But I see it still got the rear end in it. I just spotted it. Just wanted to show it to you. Got to walk back here where the box shiv is at. And I see a lot of OBSs. So I guess I'm going to walk through here. Look at the OBSs first. We got quite a few of them.
show look different. It look like a jungle out here now. All this grass and the brush done grew up. Can't even see nothing out here. A little bubble. Look like they done got rid of a lot of their box shivers. One right here. A few regals over here. The box shivy over there. Also, this is Impala right here. And it's another one over there. But let me see if they got the what I'm looking for. Yeah, this one here. This is what I need. It's right here. I'm going to go out and get my tools. I'm going to take this off. Show you this oven over here. It's like a jungle sometimes. I'd be scared to take anything off this one. The bumper's still on, so... I have to go through a lot of trouble taking that one off. Take your head with this and pile it. It look like the bump off. I don't know what that is over there. See if I can zoom in. Can't even really see. There's a car over there. Well, let me quit playing. I'm going to get my tools. I should have brought them before I came out here. Huh? Got the old Milwaukee and a 13 millimeter. Got what I needed. It's 2650. Got it at Pitts Auto Parts in Athens, Alabama. Made it back on with the bumper shock. It's two bolts at the top, two at the bottom, and it's also one here. Let me take this off, then we'll compare them. All right, let's compare them. Now you see what I was talking about. How this one here don't collapse. It's pushed in. Alright, let's go ahead and put this one on. Then we can go ahead and install the bumper. We have it installed. Now I bring the bumper in and install the bumper. Still got to put the bumper fillers on. I'm going to put them on after I put the bumper. Got the bumper taken care of. Let me let this jack down. Still got to put the rear bumper fillers on. Got them right here. I'm going to put them on. Then I think I'm going to move to the, the tail lights and the trim back here. Rear bumper fillers on, on both sides. I'm going to put the tail lights on now. The tail lights and this tag trim. Might as well go and put the tag on. Let me take care of that. I'll cut you back on. I also put the side marker on, on both sides. Let me make my way around to the front. Then we'll take care of the front clip and the front bumper. We're gonna put the grill, the headlights, and the headlight bezels, and the side marker. But we're going first we gotta take the front clip off in order to put the bezels and the headlights on. I think I got a couple of screws, I mean 
nuts in it. I just had it really sitting up here so I can paint it. Let me take this off. Front clip removed. Got it right here. Now I can go ahead and put the bezels in and the headlights and the grill. Let me take care of that. I'm going to have to hold off on this emblem because it haven't came yet. Once it come in the mail, then I put it on. But I can do it from popping a hood. Do it from the inside. Front coming on together. As you can see. Only thing missing is the emblem. But I gotta wait for that to come in. Since I'm up front, I might as well go ahead and put this trim around the windshield. I got that right here. It's coming on together now. At least this front is. Got that taken care of. Since I'm over here, I might as well put this chrome trim on right here. This is a piece to go over the top. Got it back here. I'm gonna try to clean it, clean it up a little bit because it got paint on it from the previous painter. Trim is on. This is my next task. I'm gonna put this quarter glass. I'm going to put this molding, well not molding, but trim on. I got to put these little brackets on first on both sides. You got one go right here, the long one, then this short one, they go right here. And it's just fastening from that side and this side and that from the inside of the car. Finished up with that. Now we're gonna move on to the quarter top trim. Goes right here. This piece here. This piece goes in front of it. It just snap in place. Then you got a screw on each side. It screw in from right here. Real simple. Got that taken care of. Guess I'm going to put the antenna trim back on. It's simple also. It's just screw down up in here. I'm going to clean it up first. Got a little overspray on it. This top piece here. It just screw down until it make contact with this bottom piece. Once you get it all the way down, where it ain't going no more, you get your flathead screwdriver or something. And just tap it over, tighten it up. But that's all. I think I'll put the chrome rocker panels on now both sides got them over here separated finished up with the rocker panel trim I was gonna put the fender wear trim on but I got a couple things I gotta do before I do that I got the fender wheel trim I gotta tighten up the under fender wheels because I didn't tighten them up, I had them loose so I can paint, so I can get paint up in there. And I also gotta paint this back side. I gotta mask this off here and paint up under here because it got overspray in the fender wheels. 
So I believe I'm going to do that. Then I'll put the tram on. Got that taken care of. Now, I'll make my way on up to the front and button up this inner fender wheel. Try to get some of this, this dust off of it first. But the, the outside bolts, I had to get some new ones. The outside of M6 1.0. And these on the inside, up in here, I don't know if you can see it, but up in here, them are M8 1.25. I got these at O'Reilly's. You might can see them over here better. These are the bigger ones on the inside. And these are the smaller ones. Got that taken care of. The next move is the fender wheel trim. It's made by Corvix. That's the item number. Only thing different is the last two digits. 02, 03, 04, and 01. Different sides in the front and the back. Fender wheel trim installed. Now, I'm going to do the upper lights now. Upper lights go here. But I got to repair them first. I'm going to have to JB wheel these top pieces back on. take care of that then I'll be ready to install them got the JB well on it this corner it was missing so I just kind of put a lot of JB well on this side to kind of strengthen it up but it's good to go now let me go on the mountain then I assemble the upper lights on it Got that taken care of. Now, I guess I just drop down and put the locks in. Got a new set back here for the doors and for the trunk. I just gotta switch this over from the back side onto the new ones. This one came in a package. Got it off eBay. I think it was thirty six dollars. Came with four keys. But like I said, I gotta switch this over on both of them for the doors. This back part. Came with new new these here. And a little ring. But it didn't come with this part here. Got the locks in. Now, I'm going to do the handles. Which I don't have. One for the driver's side. I just got two for the passenger. And one for the driver. I'm still waiting on the other one. But I can go ahead and put these in. Then I'll put the other one in when they come in. Handles. Got the emblems in now. This the trunk emblem, and this the 
put it in my I'll go ahead and install these. They go to Emblem. Cotton got Dustin sitting up. Now I think it's time for the pin strike and the body molding, side molding. I got it back here. Going with a chrome pin strike and the side molding. It's chrome and burgundy. Pin strike and molding installed. Still waiting on this handle. Now I guess I'll go ahead and put this mirror on here. Got it right here. Just finished up wiping down the inside of the jams because I'm finna do the the doors now. I'm gonna start putting the weather stripping on and the little bumper stops that go here and here. I got the door panels here. I'm gonna put them on also. Some of the trim, gotta clean it up. Here go the bumper stops. This go up under the hood. I still gotta put that on and the light. How I put these little rubber bumper stops back on? I just get a drill bit and I turn it backwards, put it in my drill. Then I slide it on through the little hole there. Then I dip it in water and it go right on. up with the door panel I couldn't actually finish it because I didn't have the armrest or some of the screws for it so I move on to the weather stripping here this is the weather stripping this the rear this the front it looks like it's by two different companies If I can find a part number. The front is KG3021. Got the molding on. When you put fresh molding on, you might got to slam your door a little bit harder than normal until that molding take form. Once you get out in the heat, It'll take form, then you'll be all right. See how it didn't shit. I had pulled the car out, then I started thinking about this pinstripe. I had ordered some pinstripe the same color as this mold in here. Try to match the top. Got it right here. And I was thinking about just changing up this pin strike and putting this on. I believe that's what I'm finna do. So let me take care of that. Then I'll cut it back on. Finished up with the pin strike. I think it go real good with the molding and the top. Now I gotta put this lock on. Got a new lock. 
This the new one here. This the old one. Gotta put the little light on and the switch. And to start with the emblem. I had to rivet the rivets in. Just use this rivet gun here. Right now I'm gonna put this Caprice Classic emblem on. And I'm gonna replace the ones on the quarter top. Put some fresh ones on. If y'all need some ambulance, just go to my website. I have some Caprice Classics and I have some LS Brewhound ambulance. I don't have the Chevrolet ambulance, we'll go on this side. Got the Caprice Classic ambulance on, the lock ambulance. Got some new LS Brewhound ambulance on both sides. Now, I'm about to put the fiberglass dash in. Got it back here. Fiberglass dash installed. Let me see if I can open up the door. Get a better look at it. It's dark in here, so can't really get a good look. But that's it there. I think that's pretty much it. So I clean it up.
never stop.